you tie I guess you could tie it at the back or put some put you know. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Film My Run. My name's Stephen Cousins and this is my review of the Solomon Pulse Belt. It's stretchy! So this is my quick review of the Solomon Pulse Belt. I've taken it on lots of runs. I've used it for quite a while now on short runs and long runs. So the short runs I've used it when I don't need to carry very much, just one or two things. This has been perfect. And also on long runs when my backpack is absolutely chock-a-block and I need extra space and also when I need to carry my poles. The main thing that I have found this useful for is it's the first item I've ever used where carrying poles is actually practical. So you can see that it's quite wide, it means obviously there's a lot more room to put things in. It also makes it feel a bit more comfortable than a, a narrow kind of belt type thing. The inner is a, a mesh which again is very comfortable. Now assuming that this is the front here, um, there's an open pocket at the front. I mean if it's not raining you can put your mobile phone in there. Um, you, you could stuff a drink in. I wouldn't put a mobile phone and a drink in at the same time, but you can do that. Uh, one of my problems was actually that I put a Solomon soft flask in there and it leaked all over the place. Not a problem with the belt, more a problem with my soft flasks, to be honest. Um, so there is plenty of room in there for your mobile phone. As well as the open pocket, there are these two elastic straps. They are what you will hold your poles in. You can hold them at the front. What I tended to do was turn it round and hold them at the back. And at the back, there is a zip pocket. So if you've got money, keys, those kind of things, you'd want to put them in there. Any other things that you want to access quickly, uh, like gels, things like that. There's plenty of room in here to put extra gels and all sorts of other gubbins. And it is all stretchy, it's a very stretchy material. So you probably wanna see me wearing it, don't you? Um, I've got my jeans on, but it'll have to do. Put the microphone out of the way and slip it on. I like wearing a girdle. Not that I've ever worn a girdle. Okay, so that's how it sits. For me, it's nice and snug, but not too tight. There's my straps at the front there. I can turn it round quite easily, so if I want to access the zip pocket, I can quite easily access the zip. Let's put my phone in. Here's a front pocket here. Phone goes in there like that. And you can then whiz it round. I tend to wear it over the top of my shirt like that. You could, if you wanted to, wear it just like that. Um, if you've not got holes on the back, for example. You might find that it rides up a bit sometimes, especially if you haven't got very much in it. But if you keep it on the hips, it, it does tend to stay put quite well. So I've got my lecky poles here, let's put those in. So we take the straps, basically just put them through there and through there. And that actually just once holds them fairly tight. I swizz round now. That's how I have them generally. They bounce around a little bit, but not. it's not uncomfortable. It's its kind of a, you know, it's a, it's a rhythmic bouncing. And again, very easy just to turn around, get them out again. The straps are long enough to double twist them if you really want to have them tight on there. I know some people have the Salomon quiver, and I know lots of people tie their poles into their backpack. I've never found a comfortable, easy way to do that. This belt is the first belt, the first item of clothing or wearable that I've found which allows me to carry my poles, put them away quickly and get them out quickly. So two pockets, one open at the front, one zip at the back, two straps for carrying your poles, Another thing I use these straps for was my camera and selfie stick. So I'd be carrying my poles, using them up the hills. Wasn't able to film at the same time, so I put my selfie stick and camera in the straps, double strap them round, and that held my camera quite tight as well. So it was either the camera in there or the poles. Just where the Salomon name badge is, where the open pocket is, inside that there is also a little hook. Put your keys on that, I guess. One or two bits of fluorescent material there when you're running in the dark. I mean, I guess you'll have a coat on and all sorts of fluorescent stuff, but there's one or two 
lines of fluorescent material there. You can get the belt from Amazon. Let's just have a look at how much it costs. So between 17.50 and 52 pounds 14 pence. Why why is there such a huge difference? Uh, let's go into select. Right, you see, you've got it in blue. You can have it in green, purple and purple opulent. What's that mean? Right, so if I buy a medium black it's currently £22.95 UK pricing. Um, if I buy a small purple, that's £22.90. Right, I want to find one that's 52 quid. Purple opulent large. Let's try that. That's, tw that's 20 quid. But £34.25 for the green acid. Your cheapest option is a black one like the one I've got for £17.98. But as you can see, there are a variety of colours you can get and a variety of sizes. So obviously choose the one that's right for you. I do highly recommend the Salvan Pulse Belt. As long as you can put up with occasional riding up, uh, you know, you need to sit it on your hips. Um, it will occasionally ride up. But other than that, it's, it's generally very comfortable. Um, it will carry your poles very easily. Easy to get out, easy to put back in. It's not overly expensive, you know, it doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't feel like it's been thrown together. The stitching is still all intact, I don't know if you can see that, if it's close enough to see. But that stitching is really good, nice and stretchy. There are no points that I can see where the stitching is coming away at all. It's lasted me a good few runs and it's not ripped or torn, it's not shredded in any way, it's not coming apart anywhere. And it's been through the ringer, you know, it's been through 100 miles, it's been through the mountains in Chamonix, it's been along the coast path in Cornwall, it's been along the South Downs, um, and it's done very well. It's certainly not caused me any chafing on the skin. So if you're looking for something to carry your poles in, I highly recommend this. If you're looking for a belt to carry just some sundry items like your phone, keys and money, again, couldn't fault it. And also if you need to carry some water in a flask or something like that, uh, as long as your flask doesn't leak, this will do absolutely fine. If you get sick of wearing it on your waist, you can put it, you can twist it round and wear it on your wrist. Sweat. See? Lots of different things you can do with this pulse belt. We can have a little, like a little ponytail. Bandana? No? One thing you can't do with this pulse belt is actually take your pulse. No, it doesn't work. And that is it. That is my review of the Salomon Pulse Belt. If you could please subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel, that'd be awesome. Click subscribe below, click that little bell as well to get those notifications. And if you've got any comments, do please leave them down below. Any questions about the Pulse Belt or any questions about Film My Run in general, please do ask in the comments down below. We'll see you for another review, another race, another ultra, another crazy adventure next time. Take care. Bye bye.